What a great year we've had within the modern era of Commodore 64 gaming with a multitude of quality releases over 2018. To celebrate the ongoing renaissance of the Commodore 64 game scene, Retro Gamer Nation ran its inaugural Gamers' Choice Award for the Commodore 64, where the winner would be determined by gamers voting for their favourite game on two of the leading retro gaming themed websites, Vintage is the New Old and Retro Video Gamer. The competition featured 15 new titles nominated by Retro Gaming Nation based on their overall quality. As the purpose of this award is to highlight games with new IP, remastered releases were not eligible. The poll was able to garner over 1,000 legitimate votes from the C64 gaming community. Let's take a look at the final results. We'll first cover off the nominees that did not finish in the top 10. Counterweight Kate was easily the underdog of this poll given its low profile. This sickly cute platformer stands out for its good looking bright multicolours and adorable defined characters as you try to guide Kate to locate her stolen toys. The game features some clever level designs that at times can be quite challenging to complete while at the same time being addictive to play. Ma looks like some sort of psychedelic game that could only come from the mind of Jeff Minter, but the Retreme team have asked gamers to stretch their concept of what a good arcade game is by providing original game design with deep and ever evolving gameplay. Ma's unique look and steep learning curve perhaps limited the take up of the game, but those that did invest the time to learn it will no doubt tell you what a rewarding experience the game was. Rodman can be best described as a modern day twist of the Pac-Man genre by the inclusion of a three screen level design and the use of bombs to eliminate enemies just like in Bomberman games. Gameplay is quite fun but ultimately somewhat short. Thus far Rodman has only been made available as a special multi-format triple cassette which has limited the game's exposure across the broader C64 community. Space Moguls is a homage to the cult classic game Mule. Its turn-based board game style gameplay is quite fun to play against the computer, AI or even better against friends. Those who enjoy resource management type games have found Space Moguls to be compelling while at the same time providing a break from the platform style games that have proliferated the current C64 scene. Its delivery late in 2018 would prohibit Space Moguls from making the top 10 but you should definitely seek out the game if you're looking for something different to play on your C64. Yump 64 is best described as Trailblazer in a tube that utilizes a gyro-style control mechanism. Enhanced by its hypnotic soundtrack, Yump 64 is good for a casual play and is quite a therapeutic experience. Technically, the game is a marvel though the actual gameplay itself is somewhat simple and can be said to lack depth and perhaps this is the reason why it missed out on a top 10 position. Sneaking into the top 10 is Sydney Hunter and the Sacred Tribe. 
an arcade style platformer that involves you going around the temple looking for items that will help you remove roadblocks so that you can eventually get to the sacred portal and obtain your freedom. The game offers 100 screens to navigate through. Though the game is generally considered to be quite easy to complete, but perhaps the biggest stumbling block for Sydney Hunter's performance in this poll is that its digital version is priced at least twice the cost of all other games released this year. One of my personal favourites for 2018, Shadow Switcher provides some fast paced classic arcade style action that sees you navigate through 40 levels of addictive platforming action, where you go around avoiding robot zombies and collecting all the rings on screen. What makes Shadow Switcher a standout is the twist of being able to switch places with your shadow to help you get out of some sticky situations. Hibernated One, This Place is Death, is a science fiction based text adventure that sees you take on the role of Olivia Lund, an interplanetary explorer who has just woken up from hypersleep to find that her craft has been captured by a gigantic alien vessel. The game features no graphics or sound. You create the imagery in your own mind. Hibernated One uses a simple two-word logic with a flexible parser that recognises many synonyms. As a result, those who are not the biggest fans of text adventure games may find themselves enjoying Hibernated One and its engaging story. Twenty eighteen started off strongly with the release of Pains and Aches, an arcade adventure that continues the story of the Great Night and Grail. The game features a large playing area with plenty of locations to explore and puzzles to solve. The game does start off a little slow before drawing you in with some engaging game style in the middle section, which unfortunately is not really sustained towards the end of the game. A good 2018 entry, but perhaps we expected more. Cinematic production values elevate organism above many of its peers. This alien-inspired arcade adventure caught the attention of every C64 gamer with its atmospheric introduction cutscenes. Unfortunately, the shooting element of the game itself was lacking depth and variation, as respawning aliens gave little incentive to combat them. As a result, the game only works well as an exploration game, and perhaps for this reason, Organism misses out on a top 5 spot. Aviator Arcade 2 was the last game to be released in 2018, but it has proved itself to be an instant hit with its fun blasting action. One of the best current generation shoot 'em ups, Aviator Arcade 2 features smooth movement and scrolling, variation in landscapes and enemies, and an engrossing story backdrop. Perhaps the game could have taken out this year's award if it was released a few months earlier. The surprise performer of these awards would be Exploding Fish, 
where you get to play the role of a diver who has to swim across the ocean floor collecting encryption keys in order to access and defuse bombs. The game provides some great old school arcade fun, but some may find the pacing slow. Myself, I enjoyed its steady pacing and variation of enemy sea creatures, and it looks like many of the voters felt the same, pushing exploding fish into fourth position. Steel Ranger is a 2D platform shooter for the Commodore 64 that takes inspiration from classic games of its genre such as Turrican and Metroid. Steel Ranger offers a massive game world with 17 different environment locations. The game strikes the right balance between shooting and exploration and as a result the game never gets dull. Throw in some great production values and you have a showcase game for the C64 that would have won this poll in most other years. Portal is a 2D adaptation of the PC game released by Valve back in 2007. The game features 20 levels of arcade style puzzle solving gameplay, with each screen representing a single test chamber within the facility. The objective of each level is simply to reach the exit door, while overcoming various obstacles blocking your path. The game is quite fun but it is a little on the short side with the earlier levels being easy to complete. Portal was able to garner a strong profile within the scene upon its release, and along with it being offered as a freeware title, the game was always going to be a strong contender in this poll. When it comes to quality gaming in 2018, it is hard to go past Rocky Memphis, The Legend of Atlantis. A platform adventure game with strong puzzle elements, you take on the role as Rocky Memphis as you guide him through mysterious tomb chambers, avoiding the hidden traps, dangerous creatures and deadly spectres, all with the ultimate goal of uncovering the secrets of Atlantis by collecting the 10 scrolls of knowledge hidden within. Game design is the key to any successful platformer, and the non-linear nature of gameplay along with clever and fair puzzles and the twist of providing a dark mode setting all combine so well to produce a long, enduring and enjoyable game. The Legend of Atlantis rewards you the longer you play by gradually opening up the game world to you and always giving you something new to see and has somewhat of an addictive nature to it that will not allow you to stop playing the game until you have actually completed it. I would suggest that The Legend of Atlantis is one of the best designed games for the Commodore 64 and I can easily see myself returning to the game time after time in the future years. Congratulations to the winner of the Retro Gamer Nation Gamer's Choice 2018 Award, Rocky Memphis, The Legend of Atlantis.